Hi guys, Kayla Pervat, fifth grade teacher at River Oaks Elementary here. And my teacher bestie, Tina Medina, and I have always valued collaboration and meaningful connections in the classroom. And in our February session, we'll show you how to combine Jamboard with SEL curriculum and traditional content to maximize collaboration and connection between your students and between yourself and your students. So I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial of the Jamboard tool to see if this is something that might interest you. And then if we have some time, I may even show you a couple examples. So when you come to your application window in Google, of course you have all your choices. Jamboard is gonna be one of those choices. Um, you can also open a Jamboard straight from a Google Meet, which we'll be talking about and hopefully showing you in our session as well. Um, so for this, I'm just gonna start a brand new one. And so, of course, you'd click your plus sign. <laughs> and you can come, and this Jamboard is like a digital collaboration tool. So, similar to something like Padlet, where students can post their ideas and see each other's ideas, um, this is the same type of idea, uh, except with that Google piece, obviously, it saves to their drive. They can share it with each other. Uh, it just offers a little more in-depth collaboration. So you can title your jam, whatever you would like to title it. I'm just gonna title this one Demo Jam. And you can make multiple slides, which is really, really awesome if you want each student to have their own slide, which is something we'll also talk about in our session in a little more detail. And then over here you have your tools. So you can do things like adding your text box. So just like I mentioned, if you want each student to have a slide, you can assign students' names to each slide. And then they can find their slide if you wanted them each to have their own individual. Um, you can add images. Students, of course, love this option. So they can Google image search. They can pull, as always, from their camera. They can pull from their drive, any of those things. They can add a sticky note. Um, so again, if this is more if you have one Jamboard for everyone, what I really like with this tool, and again, we'll be giving, uh, giving you a lot of these ideas in our session. Um, one thing I like with this is you could have them choose their color based on ideas that they agree with or group ideas together. Uh, which is really neat based on that color. So just a quick save, and then it's going to appear on your jam. And of course, you can change the size of that sticky note. You can move it around. You can change the rotation. Right. Students can draw with their pen. And then we'll talk about that. Um, they can also do things like changing the color, changing the type of pen, so the highlighter, the marker. Um, again, this is great for connection and collaboration. We're gonna talk about that. Um, of course, they can erase their work. And just so, so many other options that we think make Jamboard a really neat collaboration tool that can really be beneficial in your face-to-face -face classroom, but also, as we know, in this environment, we never know. We could be back hybrid, we could be back virtual, and this could be a really, really awesome tool to keep those connections and that collaboration alive. All right, guys, so I think that demos the tool. Um, I've already been talking to you for a couple minutes, so I will leave it there. But we really, really hope to see you in February. If you need anything, as you know, please always reach out um, to, you can reach out to the Dear Disc channel for extra technology support. Um, but you can also find us. Our emails will be linked with our session titles and all that good stuff. You're welcome to shoot us an email if you would like to know more about our session and just really figure out if it's for you. So thanks for watching, guys, and we hope to see you in February.